So things ended on a bit of a sour note last time around, what with Okoyama dying and us getting locked inside this spooky mansion. I wonder how Matsumura is handling things. Clearly he's losing his mind because he seems to have forgotten when we don't have hands, but let's humor him. Hi. That sounds like a better plan than moping around the locked door. But before we get heading on to that, we might as well double check and make sure that at least the girls down here are handling it a little bit better. Looks like Ryoko's doing fine, but how about Eri and Natsuke? Now this is a bit of a weirdly worded question, but let's go with yes, we do know what peeping photos are. Hmm, now, in the case of this situation, I think what peeping photos is supposed to mean is they seem to think that we might have set up this situation to get just a rise in a reaction out of the actresses, and well, that does seem like it could be a possibility. It's at least not a possibility that us as the player might be from or might be in cahoots with. But before we head upstairs, we now have the option of looking around the first floor, though there is a little bit of a setback with that. Dameka. Quite a few of the doors down here are currently barred to us. But that doesn't mean we can't explore the doors we, we do have access to, such as this next one in line. We don't want to worry people, so yes, there obviously has to be a way out of here. Yeah, にするようなことじゃないのかもしれないけど、あんなことがあった後だから気にしすぎですかね。あ、sure、it <笑>はい。撮影の前日とかもう気になって気になって何度も確認するうちに気がついたら修理すぎちゃってたってこともあるんですよ。あ、そんなことより出口を探しましょうよ。私も探します。Now, we did happen to go into this room in a bonus video and look at these statues before. I don't remember one of the statues being broken before, though. I'm sure that's merely a coincidence. Still, while we are down here, we can maybe see what was cooking for dinner. I'm sure it just smells very lovely. But I'm uh, guessing the cook didn't need a hand with making the meal. It's 
still, as of right now, there really isn't too much to do with the dining room. There is one item of importance we do want to pick up. Though it can be very easy to miss amongst all the random bric-a-brac. But next to these dolls here in this little box. We do find another piece of jewelry. Starting up a nice little collection. And the one other thing that really catches my eye is this very large statue here. Seems like it might have some strong symbology behind it, but really can't do anything with it for right now. Still, Speaking of symbology, you might notice that each one of the doors does have a symbol on it, and as far as I can tell, they are supposed to be astrological symbols. And as to whether or not each room is supposed to match up with its astrological symbol, or whether or not it's just supposed to be spooky, well, you can kind of guess from the general motif of the mansion that it's probably just innocuous spookiness. Still, you're probably wondering why I didn't head down this way earlier, and that's because if we did happen to try to go down this way during the earlier part of the game, the assistant director would have blocked our path and told us to go looking elsewhere. And that's usually a good sign that you will be heading down the area soon enough, but you have to get some other event queue before you can head further down. Well, of course not. I mean, you've checked one door. I mean, there has to be other ways out of here. Yeah, there is well, I mean, we could look around in here. Though, outside of a few oddities, there's not too much of interest in here. Still, you have to wonder just what happened in here. Yeah, as ludicrous as that sound, we we should probably just go along with it. Well, considering you had walk up walls, it could probably also just phase through walls, Tan. That makes that's about as much sense as the rest of the situation. But we do have one final room we can check down here. Seems to be something of a serial killer storage closet. I mean, you have your rusty sickles and your uh, galoshes, I suppose. Your combat boots ready to murder people with. But there is, whether you can believe it or not, two key items to pick up in this room. Namely, down here in another easily missed box. Another lovely piece of jewelry, but most importantly of all, 
in the cabinet over to our right hand side here there is a very important item a piece of parchment problem is that well being as the cameraman as we are we have no hands to investigate the item so hopefully we can find someone that will open it up for us あ、カメラさん。それ何です。あ、これ。はい。やった。これこの屋根のマップじゃないですか。これでとりあえずこの中で迷わなくて済む。使い方わかります。well, let's go ahead and get a quick tutorial on how to use the map. It's a pretty useless tutorial. All it's really saying is bring up your inventory and then select the map option. And for some reason he rudely closes the door in our face. But... Well, we haven't looked at our pause menu yet, so let's go ahead and take that avenue and look at the map. Now, the map is pretty useful. It shows us every floor of the house. It shows us all the door symbol designations, and there are quite a few of them. And most importantly, it does show us that there is not only a first and second floor, but there appears to be two additional smaller floors. In addition to that, we do have a few other options here in the pause menu, such as our inventory of useful items, all the gems we've collected, and that one piece of torn paper. Also, in case you weren't paying attention to the plot, the game tells you everything that has happened thus far, and... Well, we don't need that translated, because we've been experiencing it. We can also look at the cast and save our game, but, well, we don't really need to do that for right now. Instead, with our newfound knowledge and layout of the mansion, I feel like we can probably strive on ahead, and well, I think maybe before we do that, we should probably fill in the uh, fill in Ryoko and Natsuki and Eri back in the foyer and tell them the good news. And, uh... Hey, maybe on that map there there might be some sign as a, as a means to get out of the building. Camera, san, just a monitor, me. I wonder what could be going on upstairs. <laughs> Did I see that properly, Ryoko? Yeah, that seems like a horrible idea, but we should. So yeah, obviously the worst idea, as you can probably tell from the music, but we must. So it seems like whatever link we had with Yukari has been subsequently severed. You can kind of tell that by the battery icon in the upper right hand has gone gray instead of its normal pulsating green. And I get a feeling that it's probably not the best sign in the world. Still kind of hard to tell what was going on in that hidden camera. Maybe vines, maybe tentacles, but we'll find out shortly. In that 
can be good. There's not many places she could have gone in here. We might as well explore around the bed. Yukari-chan? うん。分かったから落ち着いて。化け物がここにも来たんだね。うん。さっき私の意識があなたから離れたでしょ。あ、あの時。でも嬉しい。カメラさん。私のところに飛んできてくれたんだもの。私のこと心配してくれたんでし
そんなことないわ私にはわかるのありがとうみんなはどうしてる不安がってる早くみんなのところへ行ってあげてそうだね私はまたあなたと一緒に行くから。So, yeah, while the game never explicitly says that you have to do certain things, to get the better endings, you do have to get to a certain social standing with a lot of the girls. And sometimes that requires doing some awkward things. But, you know, we've kind of reached a bit of an impasse. We could try to explore more of the second floor, but we, we have these mysterious boxes blocking our way, and. Well, it sounds like there's still some spooky music going on. It couldn't possibly be that we somehow missed the monster when we were checking on Yukari, and. Well, we haven't checked up on the girls in the makeup room in quite some time. Certainly hope they're doing okay. So something is definitely off here. I mean, even if it's not a monster, something strange is going on. Still, we should probably try to offer some consolation. Well, it could quite easily disappear by just not existing. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be going toe to toe with this thing, whatever it might be. Yeah, 
Yeah, so while me and Yukari might understand that there is some greater evil going on here, we really don't want to cause these girls any more panic than necessary. And that's why we really want to push this idea that there is definitely no monster. まさか。本当よ。私、幽霊とかエリアンとか普通そういうの信じない。もうなんだけど。あれだけはあれだけはそういう種類のものだと思うの。カメラさんも<笑> I mean, it may seem kind of underhanded to lie to them, but it's it's really the best avenue to go. At least they're offering us good advice. And well, Karina is pretty much a lost cause, but let's see how the assistant's doing. Yeah, you especially seem very calm. No, there has to be a reasonable explanation for all this. いや、そんなもんじゃないと思う。実は私もなんです。私、化け物の存在信じてませんから。大体の幽霊現象は物理で説明できますから。え、どうかされました。あ、いや、エディさん大学出てるんだ。はい。意外ですか。ちょっと。うん、まあそうかもしれませんね。親もよく言うんです。何のために大学出たんだって。エディになる
Well, we've reached another kind of an impasse. Maybe we can use our psychic vision to figure out where to go. It was a bit hard to make out, but I, I did recognize the symbol for one of the doors downstairs. The other one, not super familiar with. But, since we have our brand new handy dandy map, we can see that that symbol is on the far end of the hallway. A bit of a problem though, the last time we walked down there, I was pretty certain the hallway was blocked off by boxes. But, well, as you can probably guess, and as I mentioned before, usually when there is some kind of a roadblock, that just means the game is waiting for an event queue to happen. And as you can already see, our path down the hallway is now magically unblocked. Oh! Yep, and it's just as confusing to us as it is to the cameraman. That does mean that we have a few more doors that we can now explore. And before we do that, we do have some lovely art on the wall. Could be some stronger meaning to the story, could not. But behind our first door here, we find... Well, what appears to be another extremely dingy and dirty bathroom. Really cannot have enough of those in our mansion. But there is something of importance for right now. And if you can believe it, it is not another gem. Instead, we get another large piece of that torn paper. It looks more and more like it might be some... directions, maybe? Probably won't know till we get every piece. But yeah, there's not too much else of interest in here, outside of some very PS2 early error water. And, as we head out, though it is incredibly difficult to see, there is something scrawled on the door here. So for right now, we probably want to keep on exploring what we can explore and just follow our vision. Which means that something of importance is going to be behind this door. It looks like a hurricane has hit this room just any number of odd and assorted items in here. And it may be super difficult to tell what we need to investigate to find what is of importance in here, but well, it's in this small little chest here. And it's our first key of the game. Now the good news is, due to the person that made this house, there is one key to each door, and they are all marked with very, very obvious symbols that match up with the door themselves. So, that's good that they got the guy that made the Resident Evil mansion to make this mansion as well. And even though there is a little bit more of the hallway that we could explore, I am very curious to see just what this key might unlock, and... Well, it... Who, who knows? It might honestly lead to an exit out of here. You just... you never know. Now, someone did mention being a little bit suspicious of a Gucci and... That definitely seems very suspicious activity. Mm. 
なんかねお昼に食べた天ぷらが当たっちゃったみたいなのごめんなさいねちょっと樋口さんこんなことしてる場合じゃないんだよなんかよくわかんないけど僕は僕でとっても大変なのよわかりました調子よくなったらみんなのいるところに来てよねオッケーオッケーすぐ行く Alright, so there's no reason at all to be suspicious of Higuchi. He is just an awesome guy. Still, I think. Well, we have probably learned everything we can about. Well, everyone still alive in the cast, so. Well, I mean, that means that we should now be free to. I guess start exploring the mysteries of the house. And it looks like we have our very first audio key to the mystery itself. じゃないですか開けてみましょう And just what's behind this door? Well, you're going to find out next time as we enter in to disc two of the fear. See you then.